Daisy May by Jason Isbell is going to be played in standard tuning and capoed on the third fret of the guitar. Uh, that's where the album version is recorded. I've seen live versions where he's capoed elsewhere, but the album version is definitely capoed on the third fret. Uh, let me start off by talking a little bit about the picking of this song. I'm playing it finger picked because I think on the album it sounds like it's being finger picked. I've watched live videos of him playing with a pick and then also like finger picking with the pick which is a style that I'm not very good at and this picking pattern is something called I believe it's called Travis picking where you let your thumb keep the one and the five of each chord um, while also then doing alternate picking rhythms with your first and second fingers um, I'm not good at this picking style, so this tutorial probably is going to be more just about the chords than it is the picking because I get lost trying to explain what my fingers are doing and I don't know that they're necessarily even playing the right rhythm, but I think that it sounds pretty close. So the opening chord, let me just get to the chords. We've got a version of a D minor. Your first finger will be on the five string relative five fret to our capo, one, two, three, four, five. Your second finger, I'm sorry, your ring finger will be on the four string, seven fret. You'll have an open three string, and then your second finger will be on the second string relative six fret. That's what you're wanting to go for on that first chord. So you're, you're plucking with your thumb the five string, and then you're going to pinch with your thumb and second finger the four string and the two string and then you'll finger roll across the open uh, three, keeping, trying to keep rhythm going with your thumb, finger roll down across the open three with your first finger, and then come up and catch with your second finger the open one string. what you're doing for the first chord. The second chord is going to be a C chord. So just a standard C chord, your ring finger on the 5 string 3 fret, your second finger on the 4 string 2 fret, open 3 string, first finger on the 2 string 1 fret, and here your thumb is going to be trying to keep the 1-2 rhythm right there between the 5 string and the 4 string. But what you're doing with your second and first fingers is you will emphasize the fretted two string and then you'll put your pinky finger down on the two string three fret and then you'll hit the open one string so it's like and this is again this is a picking pattern that I'm terrible at but that's that's what you're doing inside the C then it comes back up to this D chord then back down to the C chord and plays another rhythm of the uh, emphasizing the second string one fret, second string three fret, and the uh, open one string inside of the C chord. Making those movements really just with your pinky finger, then back up to the D minor, back down to the C, and then you've got an A minor. And a riff that happens there. So the A minor is a standard A minor, open five string, second finger to the Four string second fret, ring finger to the three string second fret, first finger to the two string one fret. So you're doing the little Travis picking thing there in the A minor. But after one round of it, you go. So that would be a pull off on the second string first fret to second string open. And then. Uh, hit the third string second fret with your first finger and then open up the third string Second fret of the third string open third string and then into a G chord uh, Moving with your ring finger to the six string three fret And the pinky finger in this G chord will go down on the second string third fret and you'll alternate between the fretted second string and the open one string. So that coming together out of the A minor should feel something like this. A 
and then it goes into the chorus, or, or the verse rather, which is the D minor again. And during the verse, I think that Isabel tends to start just playing a standard D minor up here lower on the neck. So second finger on the four, on the three string two fret, second uh, ring finger on the two string three fret, and first finger on the one string one fret. To the C chord, to the D minor, to the C chord, and this is the verse, to the D minor, to the C chord, and then it goes back down to the A minor chord, to the G chord, and then you get to the chorus. That's going to be an A minor 7 to a B to a C. So you're plucking in the A minor 7, you're first finger is on the second string first fret and your second finger is on the fourth string two fret. You'll pluck the open five with your thumb and simultaneously pinch and pluck up with your second finger the second string. And then, so that I'm moving with my second finger to the five string second fret and my pinky finger to the second string third fret. And same pluck pinch with first and second fingers on strings five and two. So we've got and then, so in the C chord, the next chord is a C chord, third uh, ring finger on the five string three fret, second finger on the four string two fret, open three string first finger on the two string one fret. Whenever you go to this C, you want to emphasize the uh, fretted five string and the open one string. And then after that, you want to try to go back into the little, the little Travis picked part that little thumb and finger roll between your thumb, first finger, and second finger. Uh, then back to the walk up of A minor to the D to the C, and then you've got this riff. So the way that you'll do that is the second time out of the C, you're going to move your first finger to the first string second uh, to the first string first fret. Pluck that, pull off, and then you'll move with your pinky finger to the second string third fret. Pluck that, and then go down to your first finger on the second string first fret. So we've got, and then you're going to put your pinky finger back down on the second string third fret, and then go into a G chord by moving your ring finger to the sixth string third fret. So we've got, and then you'll pluck the open one string, then pluck the fretted second string on the third fret where your pinky finger still is from the G. So we've got, and then you'll come down to the second string first fret. Then you open up to the um, second string. Let me play this again so I can remember where I'm at. And whenever you put your first finger back down on the second string first fret, you then go into an F chord. So, um, so first finger to the second string first fret, ring finger will go down on the fourth string third fret. And as you're striking that, what is going to become an F chord, you're strumming across strings four, three, and two, and you'll hammer on with your second finger to the third string second fret. It holds that F for a second, and then it goes to an A minor. And you can hear Jason Isbell do a hammer on in that A minor, where he lifts up his second finger, and then hammers it down to the fourth string, second fret. And then it goes back into the round of verses again. Um, the next part to know about this song is the bridge. The bridge is the easiest part of the song because it's just strumming. And I'm uh, doing it with like pluck the thumb and then thumb down, up down, thumb down, up down, and the downs I'm just playing with the back of my fingernails. Thumb down, up down, thumb down, up down. 
on starting an F chord. In the F chord, you can hear him lift up his second finger and expose the open three string and then hammer back down to the three string second fret. Then it goes to a C chord. Uh, C chord, your first finger still on the two string one fret. Your second finger goes to the four string two fret. Your ring finger goes to the five string three fret. Then it goes to a G chord. In this G chord, your ring finger is going to be on the six string third fret. Your second finger is going to be on the five string two fret, open three, uh, open four, open three. And then your pinky finger is going to go down on the two string three fret. So that many counts of the G, and then you're going to come back up to the F. In this F, if you let the open one string ring out, that's fine, but you don't want to be letting the A or the uh, low E or the, the open five or the open six to be coming out. After that F, it goes back into the chorus of... I think that's all of the chords and movements to the song. Again, sorry that I can't explain the picking part. Honestly, there are probably a lot of great tutorials out there on how to effectively do this style of Travis picking, is what it's called. And again, it's just a, it's a style that I'm not good at, so I'm uncomfortable trying to explain exactly how to do it. But those are the chords and the feel that you need to be going for on Daisy May by Jason Isabel. Hopefully this gives you an idea of how to approach the song.